Um, it's basically, it's taking and how long is the snake? It's, it's what it's figuring out. It's exactly how this little collision detection works. How long is the snake? Where is the snake located? Is the snake's head touching part of the snake's body? If part of the snake's head is touching part of the snake's body, then game over. Because that means that you're touching yourself and, that, you know, you're going to get hairy palms and, you know, all that cool stuff. No, just kidding. Uh, it, it, it does just kick you out of the game. It just, uh, that's the, I guess, end game condition. Otherwise, you just keep going and you're eating candy and get longer and longer and longer and then eventually you're going to touch yourself because there's only a limited number of spaces that you can advance through. Um, no matter how good of a player you are. So, anyways, let's get to showing you what it actually looks like. Here's why. Emulator! Oh no, the emulator has been shut down. I guess you get to sit here and watch how painfully slow it is to launch an emulator, even on a good machine. So here's the Android emulator. This would be kind of interesting if you've never seen the Android SDK tools. Um, it comes with the Android development kit. This is part of the um, tie-in module that you can get for Eclipse. You can get the, the AVDs without having to use this. Um, you can even evoke them in the command line if you go into the like, platform tools folder, I think it is. Uh, you can use ADB and all that. And, I mean, you could actually write an Android application using a text pad in ADB. You would be a masochist if you did that, but you could do it. Um, Eclipse and the, the platform tools and everything that uh, Google's built for Eclipse makes this so much easier. Uh, I can't even begin to describe... Uh, the torture that would be involved. I mean, I, I inflicted the torture on myself voluntarily just to see because I'm that kind of person and I wanted to see, well, just how hard is it to really, you know, build it from, you know, build an APK using the tools that are in, you know, that come in with ADB. It sucked. It sucked so hard. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's like clawing your eyes out. Uh, but anyways. Uh, it's like it actually launched, so I can go in here and like, whoop, doop, 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 doop. run it as an Android application, and then go like DVD. Oh, I don't like it. And as you can see, I have a console. It's it saw the emulator. It's stalling the APK. Oh, success! Now it's going to start the game over here on the emulator. And it's coder art. Forewarning: coder art, major coder art. Uh, um, the name leaves much to be desired. I can already hear the commentary on the name. I don't even know. I think it was like 4 o'clock in the morning when I came up with that. And, and it was supposed to be that sort of funny. Um, anyways, uh, with the emulator, you click, you do mouse clicks to emulate touching. And. Da -da -da -da. Like I said, over here starts up a snake with three snake parts, one, two, and three. The position of the three snake parts on the canvas. And then touch them again. And, oh, the snake's moving. It's going up to the candy, candy, candy. I eat the candy. And you grow. And you feel, oh, there's another piece of candy, candy, candy. And you grow. I mean, it's simple. I mean, this is, I mean, I think there's, a, there's another uh, YouTuber. Uh, she's really good. Uh, Coder Rage, uh, Coder Rage, I think, is her new channel. I used to be a her. and she had a game called Pick'em Sticks. And uh, I think this is kind of on that level of simplicity. But um, I never actually built them for that, that game. I really should have. I think I might actually build one. I've never built one. I need to build something with a level editor next because uh, I really want to have level editors work. But this, I mean, it's retardedly simple. And I think that retardedly simple is good, by the way. I'm not saying that's a stupid or a bad thing. I mean, I'm sure there's people who are like, why didn't you use, why did you build an engine from scratch using book when you could have just used the Unreal Engine or 
uh, use Unity or something like that. And it's like, well, if I was going to go and just use someone else's tool, then uh, I don't think I'd be very much of a programmer. I want to know how stuff works. I don't want to just assume I know how stuff works, you know? And that's what this did. Other than it started off simple. I mean, I mean, literally, this is just arrays and links. And the collision is nothing more than seeing whether or not one part of the array is touching the other part of the array. I mean, it's not like real collision. I didn't have to build pounding boxes and all that sort of stuff. But I'm sure it's setting me up to learn all of that. And, uh, anyways, this is, uh, this is the game I go ahead and show you the ending condition. Head touches part of the body, you know, game over, and that's down here. Well, if the head touches part of the body, it returns that, and then when it returns that, that basically does it at the end of the game. I could go and show the actual bit that calculates that, but why? Anyways, um, high score screen. Nothing fancy. Um, ah, I lost my emulator. And I would show you the help, but I have totally jacked the help section up. Which is the thing I want to talk about is the stuff that I that I want to do. Um, this game I really want to put on the Android market. It's going to be for free because it's not. I didn't write it 100, percent and that's not something I think it's innovative enough to chart. Um, there are millions of snake games, by God, and. Uh, I just want to put something out there just so I can see if people actually download it. One, because I'll probably get a little bit of a, uh, a little joy of knowing someone's playing something I've written. And the other thing is that uh, I want to make a very cutesy Halloween themed version of the Snap game, and I want to change it up some. I want to have, right now there's three different pieces of candy that are in there. I want to get up to like ten pieces of candy, and I want each piece to have a different point value. And I want to drop more than one piece of candy onto the canvas at one time, which I've already figured out how to do. I just, I need to um, tweak some stuff first to it kind of slowed everything down the way I did it. Um, but drop more than one piece of candy at a time. I'll put some background music to it, and I'm going to make my wife give me some better art, because my wife's an artist, and uh, she's actually a good artist, and I won't have to deal with all this coder art. Convincing her to do pixel art might be a problem, but um, we'll see. I think that once she sees the fact that it's actually a working game, she can be more willing to contribute. Um, anyways, that's that's what I've been doing, and that's what I've learned. And like I said, I didn't write this from scratch. I didn't just sit down and go, I'm going to write a snake game, and then just write it. Um, I actually did use resources. I used stuff from a book. I used stuff from the internet. Um, but I'm learning. And I think now I could probably sit down and write a snake game uh, if I really wanted to. Um, without having to have any of those resources because I have gone through them and, and actually learned how it works and, and understood the, the bits and pieces under the hood. I think it would actually be easier to understand game not in Android, to be honest. I don't think I'd have to deal with all the crap. Um, like that XML file. And, and I know nothing I learned with the Android manifest file here sucks. Uh, uh, but anyways, that's, that's what I've been working on and I'm learning and wanted to kind of document my journey and see that, you know, maybe one day if I did come up with a really cool 2D platformer or 2D uh, RPG or 2D anything or even a 3D game, I can come back and say, you know, when someone says, how did you do it? I say, well, I started with a stupid snake game. And uh, that would see that you have to start at the bottom and learn. You can't just, like, jump in at the top. Uh, well, you guys have a good night. I think I'm going to go to bed. See ya.